Bonjour from the very beautiful town of Albi, right on the Tarn River. It is one of my favorite French regions to visit. The countryside is breathtaking with some of the most beautiful villages of France. The food is superb too, but the local one of Gaillac is very fruity. Eric, I really love your wines. Tell me a bit more about them. Actually, we are here in the Gaillac area which is uh, one of the oldest wine areas in France. Uh, we are here in the Chateau de Rode, uh, where we grow uh, organic grapes. 60% of our production is uh, nowadays red wines, but we do as well sweet, uh, sweet wines and bubbles. If you love uh, our red wines, let's say that they are very fruity, uh, spicy as well, with uh, uh, notes of uh, pepper, of thyme, uh, with uh, aromas of uh, strawberries, blackcurrant as well, uh, which make our wines, I guess, uh, quite uh, nice to drink. The local food, like the local wine, is very rustic, and a visit to the Albi market is a real pleasure. This is the meat of my childhood. This is ram steak of horse, de cheval. There's still some butchers in France specializing in horse meat, and Albi has got one, so this is a boucherie chevaline. This is La Rose de Lautrec, a pink garlic from Lautrec, a small village a few kilometers from Albi, where the descendant from Toulouse Lautrec came from. It's very delicious, it's a fine garlic and it keeps for a long time. I've been told that the snails of Albi are the best in France, but I don't know because I've not tasted all the French snails yet, but this one is yum. Yum, yum. This wild rabbit casserole cooked in Gaillac red wine is a wonderful winter dish. I place the pieces of one rabbit in a bowl, add one sliced carrot, some sliced celery, parsley stalk, thyme, bay leaves, one or two shallots and some cracked pepper. Enough Gaillac red wine is used to cover the rabbit to marinate overnight. The next day, I cook 100 grams of diced bacon for a few minutes and transfer to a dish. I add the drained rabbit pieces to the pan and brown the rabbit on each side and transfer it to an oven-proof dish. I add the drained herbs and vegetables to the pan and stir for a few minutes on medium heat. Then add two tablespoons of flour and stir for three to four minutes before adding the wine. Of all the kitchen smell, the smell of wine that has been marinated with game food is one of my favorites. It's just amazing. The sauce is poured over the rabbit. I cover the pot well and cook it in the oven at 140 degrees for about two hours. After cooking a handful of mushroom in a large pan, I had the bacon and the rabbit pieces and strain the sauce over the rabbit before reheating for five minutes. Everyone loves it with boiled potatoes. It's quite a dish. Tomorrow we discover the hearty food of the southwest and we visit a vineyard in the Armagnac.